10 of the most expensive designer brands in the world. Before we start, I'd want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Mob Luxury. Here are 10 of the most expensive designer brands in the world. Number 10, Prada, 3.06 billion. Before the devil wore Prada, the Italian royal family did. In 1913, the very first Prada store opened in Milan, Italy, selling handbags, travel trunks, jewelry, and other fine goods. Women's footwear wouldn't be introduced until 1979, clothing until 1988. The publicly traded company's current CEO, Patrio Baritelli, insists that despite the coronavirus, Prada has seen a fast and sustained return to consumer spending, in Asia and particularly China, with sales growing at a double-digit rate. Number 9. Burberry, 3.85 billion. Burberry, the iconic British fashion house and investor of the tough, waterproof garbodyne material, was established in 1856 when Thomas Burberry was just 21. Originally offering outdoor attire, the company has since expanded into luxury clothing. Worn by everyone from Queen Elizabeth II to Barack Obama to Beyonce, Burberry Trades in London is a constituent of the FTSC 100 index. Yvev Saint Laurent, 4 billion. Once an apprentice to the French designer Christian Dior, you'll hear more about him later. Yev Saint Laurent co-founded the eponymous fashion house in 1961, selling men's and women's ready-to-wear apparel. Early on, the brand was known for contributing to the beatnik look and popularizing tuxedo suits for women. Since 1999, Saint Laurent has been owned by an international luxury goods group, Keurig, itself a constituent in the French CAC 40 index. Uh, sketch. It's made with a very simple ecru cotton, talatan, precisely. Number 7, Christian Dorer, 5.12 billion. In 1947, one year after opening his Haute Couture fashion house in Paris, Christian Dewey introduced the world to what was called the new look, a then radically feminine aesthetic featuring tight-fitting jackets, petite waist, and full skirts. Commonly known today as Dewey, the company retails everything from leather goods to jewelry to fragrances to makeup and skincare products. Dewey was acquired by fashion giant LVMH in 2017 in a $13.1 billion deal, but shares are still floating on France's Euronet Paris security market. Working with artist Penny Slinger. Number 6, Cartier, 5.21 billion. It was during the highly volatile period of the 1848 French Revolution that a young Partisan watchmaker named Louis Francine Cartier bought his master's small workshop. A decade later, Cartier opened his first boutique, selling not just timepieces but also high end jewelry. The brand continued to be managed by Louis Francis' son and then his grandsons, one of whom, Pierre, expanded the company by establishing a U.S. headquarter in New York City's famous Fifth Avenue in 1970. Today, Cartier is owned by Switzerland-based luxury goods holding company Campaign Financier Richemont. Number 5. Rolex 7.43 billion The second watchmaker to appear on the list, Rolex was founded in London by Hans Wilsdorf, then 24. He invented the name Rolex because he thought it would not only be easy to pronounce in any language, but also look good on timepieces. The innovative company was first to come out with the waterproof wrist watch, and in 1931, the first self-winding watch. By the 1950s, it had started designing timepieces for professional activities such as aviation, deep sea diving, and more. The Geneva-based company is owned by the private Hans Wildorf Foundation. September sees the return of the Rolex Grand Slam of show jumping with two of the four equestrian mages. Be Number 4, Gucci, 27.24 billion. With Gucci, we make a huge leap from luxury brands valued under 10 billion to those valued above 25 billion. Founded in 1920 in Florence, Italy, Gucci specialized in leather goods and accessories before expanding into ready-to-wear apparel, fragrances, and more. By the 1990s, the brand began to show its age. It was a young Texas-born designer named Tom Ford who's credited with breathing new life into Gucci as its creative director. Luke St. Laurent, for whom Ford also worked, Gucci is today owned by Keering. Can have a gold car. Number 3, Hermes, 33.01 billion. As the oldest brand on the list, Hermes made its debut in Paris in 1837 as a saddlery and harness workshop serving European noblemen and women. It wouldn't be for another 100 years that the company would introduce its for a non-equestrian item, a square silk scarf. Today, Hermes is one of the most iconic high fashion brand on earth, retailing leather goods as well as jewelry, watches, ready-to-wear apparel, fragrances, and more. In 2019, one of its purses, made from the rare white crocodile and palladium auctioned at Christie's Hong Kong for an astonishing $242,000. Number 2, Chanel, $36.12 billion. For many people around the world, 
Even those who know little to nothing about the industry, the name Coco Channel is synonymous with luxury. Born Gabrielle Chanel, the young fashion designer opened her first shop in Paris in 1910, creating hats that became popular with the most famous French actresses of the time. But things really blew up when she released in 1921 her signature channel N5, still the world's most iconic fragrance. In his 2019 financial report, the privately owned Chanel reported $12.3 billion in global sales and $2.2 billion in free cash flow. An incredible 85% increase from the previous year, despite pandemic-related challenges, the company still expects to turn a profit in 2020. In plusieurs de ses pièces de théâtre, et lui a dessiné certaines de ses robes. Il y a aussi, je pense, ce besoin euh, qu'on retrouve aujourd'hui. Number one, Louis Vuitton, 52 billion. The world's most valuable luxury brand, according to Brand Z, belongs to Paris-based Louis Vuitton, valued at 52 billion. An increase of 10% from last year, Louis Vuitton founded the company in 1854, primarily as the maker of travel trunks. Its trunks were lightweight, airtight, and unlike any others at the time, had flat tops for easy stackability. In 1886, the company patented a tumbler lock system for its luggage so effective that Harry Houdini himself was said to be unable to pick it. Like most other brands on the list, Louis Vuitton or LV is today known for much more than its original goods. Offering ready-to-wear shoes, handbags, jewelry, and fragrances, LV is owned by the mega luxury conglomerate LVMH, which did $60 billion in sales in 2019. The company's CEO and chairman, Bernard Arnold, is the world's third richest person behind Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates. Teresa, Hansberry, Tesla. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. And like if you did, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also watch the next two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.